unit transmission. This is the audio log of Dr. Cool, O5 Council member, as well as Supreme Commander of Mobile Task Force Alpha 1, also known as the Red Right Hand. Hello everyone. Today's article file reading is an interesting one due to its historical background. Now, as many of you know, I am a fond lover of history, especially when it comes to some of our more ancient civilizations, such as the Romans or the Egyptians. And today's SCP is a little scroll from ancient Egypt that I think you all will enjoy. But let us jump into this article file for today, shall we? Item number SCP-911 Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures SCP-911 is to be stored in a locked high-value item containment box. It is not to be handled with bare skin unless being used in an experiment. Researchers are warned to take extreme caution when dealing with subjects created by SCP-911 due to the possibility of contamination by See Addendum 911-2 below. Description SCP-911 is a papyrus scroll of the Egyptian Book of the Dead, dating from approximately 1375 BCE. Analysis has not yet shown any anomalous composition of materials. When a living human makes skin contact with SCP-911, in 90% of cases their personality, memory, and higher brain functions, or consciousness for a lack of the better term, are drawn into the scroll, leaving a body with no higher brain function. Unless kept on life support, affected subjects will die of dehydration in approximately 3 days. There is a 10% chance that contact with SCP-911 will exchange the mind and personality of the subject making contact with that of one previously stored in the scroll. Persona recovered from SCP-911 are described in Addendum 911-1 and these subjects must be kept in Foundation custody, both for study and for their own safety. Only D-Class personnel should be used in experiments with SCP-911 due to the low probability of ever recovering the consciousness of the original subject. Due to the interview with SCP-911-4, no further experimentation is to take place without O5 approval. Now, Addendum 911-1 Recovered Subjects from SCP-911 Subject 911-1 Inhabiting the body of Agent Who discovered SCP-911 at In Subject 911-1 claims to be a librarian from the Royal Library of Alexandria, captured by SCP-911 circa 180 BCE. Subject retains no memory of his captivity. After recovering from the culture shock of being transported over 2,000 years into the future, Subject has been quite cooperative and provided a considerable amount of useful historical background on his era. Researchers speaking to the appropriate dialect of Greek are welcome to interview him. Subject 911-2, formerly D-16173. Subject 911-2 claims to be king of a noted collector of ancient manuscripts who suffered a mysterious fate in 1327. Whether or not he is lying about his identity is currently under dispute by several of his interviewers. Subject 911-3, formerly D-16292. Subject 911-3 has provided no useful information as to his identity or origin. Subject is apparently insane due to long-term disassociation and sensory deprivation, and screams incoherently in medieval French if the environment darkens below approximately 1,000 lumens. And finally, Subject 911-4, formerly D-16544. Subject 911-4 is Professor, documented as having been found dead while doing research on ancient languages on December 5th, 1931. 
Professor, claims to have been sentient during his entire captivity and to have maintained his sanity through meditation and strength of will. Now, what's interesting about SCP Subject 911-4 is that he has given us a full background into what it's like to be captured within this manuscript and what lurks within it as well. Now, we will move on to Addendum 911-2 interview with Subject 911-4 Professor on March 12th, 2010. This is an interesting interview, and I believe that everyone should pay very close attention to it and what the professor has to say. So, I shall be playing the audio log for you now. How were you captured by the object? I was researching the usage of some hieroglyphs and touched the manuscript. Next thing I knew, I was floating in an endless void. What was it like where you were? Empty. Featureless. Nothing to do but float. There were others, but most of them were drifting. Forever asleep. Occasionally a portal opened and some new soul drifted in. If you were awake, why couldn't you leave before you did? The portal would only open for a few seconds. Sometimes one of the sleepers would drift out by chance. They were always near it, and only one could go through. We'd have to fight through the crowd, and I guess it took years for me to make it in time. Besides, we had to avoid him. Him? The, the one who made that place. He would merge with anyone he could capture. All they knew would be part of him and lost to the world. He is mad, screaming for thousands of years. <laughs> Nothing but screaming. He screams about the collective. He thinks it will make him God, but it would be nothing but madness. All that he learns, he screams into the void. Why hasn't he left? He is waiting. Waiting for the right time, the right body. He knows of you. He merged with one of your agents. He screams about SCPs now, and how he must merge with SCP and SCP. The Foundation will save him. It made no sense at the time, but I understand it now. There are people or things in your possession. They will make him. Don't let him out. Never let him out. <laughs> All right, and now our final addendum. Addendum 911-3, interviews with Subject 911-2, have described an entirely different environment inside the scroll. However, 911-2 also speaks of a malevolent insane entity. In light of this, the Foundation has taken measures to... O5 Command ordered experimentation on SCP-911 to cease without clearance from two or more O5 level personnel upon reading a transcript of this interview, and I fully agree. I believe it was the best decision to make within our little council here in the Foundation, and that goes for everyone as well. So thank you once again for allowing me to explain this SCP to you all. Like I said, it is very interesting, and if you are an avid lover of history, such as myself, then you will definitely enjoy this SCP. But be cautious around it, of course, just like all of our objects. That is all the time that I have for today, thank you again for watching. Please remember to click that like and subscription button down below, it really does help us out here. This is Dr. Cool, 05 Command, signing out. Oh, my God.